Welcome to Alpha Luxury. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the top 10 most expensive guns sold at auction in history and telling you the price of them. Stay tuned for number one, because the gun is literally priceless. Let's start with number 10. Hitler's Golden Walther PP We all hate Hitler due to his war crimes, but when it comes to his personal pistol, it was sold for $114,000 at an auction in 1987. That amount paid at auction for this piece of military history was a record breaker at the time. Karl Walther, a well-known German gunsmith, gave this handgun to Hitler for his 50th birthday. This was a favorite of Hitler's and he often kept it in his desk drawer in Munich. What's fascinating about this firearm is the rumor that it was the gun Hitler used to end his life. Others claim that an American soldier carried it back to the States during a raid on Hitler's residence in 1945. Number 9. Wyatt Earp's Colt 45 Caliber Revolver This revolver belonged to Wyatt Earp. He was one of the most recognizable and daring figures in the American Old West, and anything relating to him could easily fetch thousands of dollars. During his stint as a deputy sheriff, Earp saw the gunfight at the OK Corral, which is widely regarded as the deadliest gunfight in history. In the firefight, Earp and three other lawmen killed three criminals in less than 30 seconds. That gunfight was so iconic in American society that the weapon used in it, this Colt 45 revolver, was auctioned off for a whopping $225,000. Number 8. The 44 Caliber Smith & Wesson From the mid to late 1800s, American bandit Jesse James was notorious for leading a gang responsible for several bank and railroad robberies. During the course of his life, he rose to prominence as a legendary figure in the American Wild West. During the height of their criminal activity, James and his crew carried out heists at over 20 banks and made off with $200,000. Ultimately, one of James' gang comrades shot him dead behind his back in order to turn in the bounty of $10,000 the government had set on his head. It's probable that these fatal shots came from this pistol. The gun was auctioned off in 2003 for $350,000 to an unidentified buyer. Number 7. Teddy Roosevelt's Double-Barreled Shotgun Teddy Roosevelt was the 26th President of the United States, serving from 1901 to 1909. This shotgun was manufactured by the Fox Gun Company in 1909, specifically for Teddy Roosevelt to take on his African hunting safari. It was the most magnificent rifle he'd ever seen, Roosevelt said in his thank you letter to the Fox Gun Company. The gun was sold by the Roosevelt family in 1974. It was then auctioned off in 2000 and again in 2010 for a whopping $862,500. Number 6. Texas Ranger Sam Wilson's Colt Walker This handgun was given to Texas Ranger Sam Wilson in 1847. But the fact that he was the original owner is not the only reason it sold for a very high price. The Colt Walker was developed for the Texas Rangers' unique needs. Some have called the black powder revolver the most powerful pistol ever made. At a range of up to 200 yards, it was more effective than a musket, whether it be fired with a 44 caliber round ball or a 220 grain bullet. Only 1,100 Walker pistols were ever produced, and today, only a few are thought to be in existence. Due to its rarity and the fact that this example is in practically mint condition, this revolver attracted a lot of attention when it was put up for sale. Due to these causes, the bidding price at the auction skyrocketed to $920,000. Number 5. Colt Patterson Revolver this Colt Patterson revolver was the first ever repeating pistol, licensed by Sam Colt in 1836. It was the first repeating weapon, and its innovative design was the first to use a rotating cylinder to fire off many shots in rapid succession. The contemporary revolver may trace its lineage back to this design. New Jersey is where the factory was located and created the handgun and gave it its nickname. This Patterson was in immaculate shape and was said to be the best example of its kind that was still around. 
When you think about these things, the fact that this Colt Patterson sold for more than a million dollars isn't that surprising. Number 4. Gold Inlaid Colt Model 1849 Pocket Revolver This revolver is based on the Colt Patterson design. Nevertheless, it demonstrates how firearms have progressed in terms of both appearance and functionality from 1936, when the first Colt Patterson was released, to today. This slimmer version was designed to be portable and ended up being one of the most popular designs of its time. It sold at auction for a crazy $1.1 million, which is due to the fact that it has gold inlay and is historically important. Number 3. Simon Bolivar's Flintlock Pistols In 2004, two handguns were auctioned at Christie's of New York for $1.76 million making it the third most expensive gun ever sold. These flintlock pistols are historically significant since they belong to political and military hero Simon Bolivar, who liberated several South American countries from the Spanish Empire. He was also the first president of the first group of independent countries to join together in Latin America. Number 2. George Washington's Saddle Pistols the handguns used by the first President of the United States of America are the second most valuable collection of firearms. These pistols date back to the time of the American Revolution, thus they were almost certainly used in some capacity while the Founding Fathers battled for the independence of the young nation. The handguns set a new record at a Christie's Americana sale in 2002, selling for $1,986,000. The buyer was the Richard King Mellon Foundation, which eventually gave the firearms to the Fort Ligonier Museum and historic site south of Pittsburgh. Number 1. The Gun That Killed President Lincoln Ford's Theater National Historic Site displays a case containing the little 6-inch Derringer that John Wilkes Booth used to kill President Abraham Lincoln. This is a pistol that can't be bought for $25, the price at which it was sold in the middle of the 1800s. On April 14, 1865, when the president was out for the evening, a shot was fired from this gun, mortally wounding him. Whether it will ever be auctioned off is a mystery, but it's widely believed to be the most expensive firearm in existence. Even though it was initially sold for just $25, this is perhaps the most precious and historically significant firearm in existence. How much do you think President Lincoln's gun would sell at auction for? What gun do you like the most? Until next time, shots fired!